Hey crafters, welcome to Paulette's Pretty Paper Crafts. We'll just have to see what day it is when I actually post. This is going to be a tag to go on the girls' Christmas presents. Mike ended up getting them a Starbucks gift card and a pretty, pretty cup. Both of the girls love Starbucks and I thought it would be really fun to try this AccuCut technique. Where you take a piece of cardstock and you fold it special ways and lay it on the die and you get the design in a circle. Now it doesn't work with everything. Amber but loves the kind of iced coffees and so hers is an iced coffee. So I thought that would be fun. I used the Tim Holtz Fresh Brewed die that but some things don't work so let's take a look at that here's here's one little example where I did try to do this little reindeer body two of my deer here uh, didn't have their antlers so let's talk a little bit about this and I actually ended up altering this die it's got a blade right there so you can, I don't know, I guess cut the head off and do it in a different color. Took that blade out of the reindeer die and got rid of that blade that cuts at the neck. And did it again, and I did it with just not folding the cardstock all the way. The directions that I have are for an eight-piece design or a six piece design. Some of it folds up a bit small so it was kind of hard and this was actually the AccuCut Gingerbread Man die and because of the way this fit on the die all I got were the the heads of the snowman because your cardstock is all folded up like this and you have to put this on the bottom of the die so I didn't get arms or anything. I took a Sizzix Snowman die and I didn't carry that over here with me. I'm so sorry. Doing the same thing. This is just a snowman body. It has to be a thick die because it's got to cut through all of these layers. Let's see if I can fold this back up. See, it's got to cut through all of these layers. When I did the little four piece for this reindeer, I ended up just that. So I'm going to show you, you, you take your cardstock, if you have an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and you fold it in half long ways and then you fold it in half again and then you have your fold on the right hand side in the bottom and then you bring this other side up. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this eight ring shape. You're going to take eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, which I've got here in the portrait position, and you're going to fold it in half long ways. So that's going to be at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to score this a couple times with my bone folder. And then you're going to turn it in the landscape mode and fold it in half again, which is going to be five and a half and you're going to go ahead and fold on those score lines and just you've got the whole thing folded up then the instructions say keep your folds so here's my fold at the bottom and my fold on the right hand side so you want your fold on the bottom and your fold on the right hand side then you want to bring the left corner up and meet this edge. Well, I find that easiest to turn around and do it upside down. And just use my my scoring thing here to kind of help me do that, to help me get it started and then just pinch it and run your finger down it. In some instances, it was easier for me to go ahead and cut all of this excess, these are the open edges. So I could see just exactly how much cardstock I have to play with because in order to get all of the layers, that all has to be the same, the same length. So let's see, can you see my little cup right here? Then you're gonna put this in here, but not all the way. You still need some die edges open here. 
so not all the way down but I want to be sure and capture as much of the top of the cup as I can so I scooted that down just as far as I dare and then put the die cutting plate on this and run it through I ran it through one two three times through the die cutting machine and then you get that wonderful when you open it all up everything is in a circle it's the same principle as when we used to make snowflakes you know cut 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 open it up and you have a snowflake so we'll look at some other dies and I'll give you the link to how to do that but if you have a larger die you don't have to fold all the way down to this kind of cone shape uh, you can just do fold in half and fold in half and then lay that on your die so fold in half fold in half and then you've got this point and you can lay that in your die that's how I did and got the um because you can see here, I only folded it here and folded it here. And when I folded it up that extra time, it wasn't going to get the antlers in the arm. So anyway, I thought this would be fun to give to Bonnie with her spoons. Because I had a couple of spoons left over that didn't have spatula. And so I thought this would just be a sweet uh, thing to give to Bonnie. My neighbor who always does a really amazing treat for me. Here is... 12 by 12 cardstock scored at six one way and six the other way to get the whole width of a wider dot like this Sizzix dog die. And I thought that the nose was just missed getting cut but you can see it stuck in the die so I've altered this die as well and pulled out that little blade to make a shadow on the nose so that that doesn't happen again because the layers of cardstock got stuck. So you could kind of make a wreath. Really fun, I will give you the link to that and sometimes, here's a bonus shape, sometimes you get something that is a little interesting. So here's another try at this die with some 12 by 12 paper and I just wanna make sure that I'm going to capture the top of the head, and a good portion of the arms. It doesn't have to be the whole arms. So here's the AccuCut um, Gingerbread Man. I can't remember if he came with eyes or not. I asked for no eyes and no holes to be made, probably. I'm going to imagine that's what I did. Because I don't like for that to cut all the way through. I want to be able to use these shapes very versatilely. Oh, didn't that one turn out cute. I'm going to share the assembly of Katie's tag so you can see how easy this is to do. I'm going to take RV69 and just do a little bit of enhancing on my cups. And just some really simple shading, nothing complicated. I just want to bring the cup to life a little bit. R29, and I made a shadow right under the lip of the cup. I could have used that really dark color, but I wanted the cups to be a little bit brighter. And then I also drew just a little line right down here for the bottoms. Katie likes traditional coffee, so I'm just going to do hers in a traditional coffee theme. And I ended up using this little sunshine stamp craft sun is a Michaels. I think that's their own their own line. I just wanted that texture, so I chose to go ahead and do this and have it be on the outside. And it also gave me something to sponge and just really gave some good good texture. So here is that Tim Holtz die, and let's see, it is fresh brood 
And unfortunately, a lot of my Tim Holtz dies don't cut everywhere. So I have learned that if I take a couple pieces of cardstock and permanently tape that over the part of the die that isn't working properly, it will, I don't have to remember to shim and shim right there. It's a permanent shim, and that way I can count on that die to do its job. Distressing tool with some close to cocoa. And let's just see if I can just do this right. I don't like to waste my ink, so let's do this right in the, the top part of the... I think I'm going to do hers in some brown, this honey brown from Bic. So let's go ahead and glue these little sleeves on. And I will have to trim some of these. So glue them on first, trim after. And really, I mean, they could overlap. It's not. It'll just make it uh, more sturdy. And I've got a little bit of glue creeping out over here. Memento Dewdrop. My darling Katie has a foam adhesive. And so I'm going to recycle fun foam. Now I cut four pieces of cardstock at one time and some of these broke through. So be careful of that. Yep. I'm having a hard time staying above the crease. Let's use E70. I think will be a little bit better, a little bit lighter. My hands don't really want to be doing this coloring. I did a bit of painting today. On one of my gifts, and then some spray. A little. My glue is traveling with me there. Cute, cute. Oh, I really, really love them. You know what would be fun is just to put your bow right. Maybe that's what I'll do because the coffee boxes are, you know, about four inches deep and they're about a square and this will just lay right on top. It's going to be perfect. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know and have a very Merry Christmas.